Yes, here at Charlie's Spick and Span in Las Vegas, New Mexico, where all kinds of strange things happen, you're likely to find. There's a guy who uh, looks very much like George Washington, through no fault of his own, thinks he does, uh, studying uh, to prepare a presentation, a Chautauqua type one man show on George Washington. Let's see what he's up to. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm here at uh, Charlie's Spick and Span Bakery and Cafe because this is the only place I can really concentrate, get any work done, and I'm trying to um, finalize my notes on this uh, George Washington presentation using this fantastic book as my inspiration. And uh, not quoting from the book, except some of George Washington's quotes, which are public domain, I guess. And uh, one thing about George Washington that's interesting is his relationship with his mother, who was a tough old character who never really appreciated him or gave him credit for any of his accomplishments, whether as a soldier, president, or anything else. She just occasionally hit him up for money. But she complained when he was going to go off to war uh, the first time he was given uh, a command. And uh, this letter is kind of telling. It's also telling, it's also interesting to me that he was very self-conscious about not having been college educated among all the people in his, uh, his group of, of uh, founders. He was the one who was least educated, and you get the impression he was some kind of clod. But not when you read his words, they're always very articulate. This was a note to his mother after she was complaining that he was going to go off and leave her and go to war. He said, Honored Madam, if it is in my power to avoid going to the Ohio again, I shall. But if the command is pressed upon me by the general voice of the country and offered upon such terms as can't be objected against, it would reflect dishonor upon me to refuse it. And that, I am sure, must or ought to give you greater cause of uneasiness than my going in an honorable command. So more quotes, more uh, reports on this project to come. Again, truly fascinating book upon which this is all based.